FIFA trading methods. Some are fast, some are slow, some are easy, and some are hard. And there's nothing worse for me than trying to use a trading method in FIFA, but it just takes you too much time. It's too hard, you can't be bothered, I may as well just go and buy FIFA points. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way to make coins in FIFA 22 right now. So boys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a massive like on it, you know what to do. The boys like target on this is going to be over a thousand likes. Yeah, a thousand likes. Let's see if we can do it, the boys. As you'll be able to see in the top left, currently I have got 250,000 coins there or thereabouts. I did have 1.3 million, but <clears throat> I, 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 <clears throat> I, I did a tiny, 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 tiny bit of investing with about a million coins. If this doesn't pay off, honestly, I am washed as a FIFA trader. If I wasn't already. <laughs> Donut. This is how the team is currently looking. I need to sort a few things out. I need to just make some improvements, to be honest. I managed to get Red Griezmann from Foot Champs, though, which isn't too bad. He is only worth 40,000 coins. But, boys, what I want you to do is just let me know down in the comment section how many coins have you got right now in FIFA 22? Because I've got a few ideas for videos and stuff, but I don't want to do them if you've maybe got, like, two coins. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And as well, boys, do me a favor. Just subscribe if you're new. It would be very much appreciated. The support has been ridiculous. Just ridiculous. We're going for 200,000 subscribers. So let's see if we can do it. Regardless, though, let's get into this video. And just before we do get into this video, if you do want to go and buy yourself any FIFA 22 coins, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. Use that code LE5CHEAP for a spicy little discount. Okay, let's go. So boys, jumping straight into this video, I've got a load of different methods for you to be using. I've made sure that these are the absolute easiest ways to make coins and they can work pretty much any time. So say if you watch this video today when it comes out, or you watch it in six months time, this should still be working. So share it about with your mates. If there's any of your mates who you know you need some coins, link them to this video. So Lewis has got you sorted. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here to the transfer market. And first off, we're going to go to position. I'm going to say to centre back. Just go to a country and you're going to be using any of these top nine nations. You can use English, use France, Germany, Brazilian, Argentina, Italy, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain. It's completely up to you. The ones that I prefer the most is Italy and I'd say English to be honest. Let's just do that and go over here and set the quality to gold and then go over here and check what the minimum price is. So gold centre-backs who are English as you can see currently are going for 600 coins. Now this is a rule of thumb from any of those top nine nations. If you ever see them who are gold centre-backs from any of those top nine nations under 500 coins just buy them and sit on them. Fair enough. So what happens is with these cards is eventually they will be needed for different SBCs and then they start to go up in price. Now, a good example of this currently is the Italy players. Now, Italy players were easily attainable at around 500 coins the other day. And as you'll be able to see at the minute, they are going for around 1,000 coins. Say, for example, you put in 500,000 coins at 500 coins. Admittedly, you'd have to sell loads and loads of them, but you'd be doubling your coins. And even if you put in 10K, you're doubling your coins. If you put in 20K, you're doubling your coins. It's a times two investment that. Two words, entrepreneurship. And that is just from following that mantra of if you buy under 500 coins when they're cheap, you'll be able to get a little nice deal. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, when do I know when to pick these cards up? So what you need to think is when the supply onto the market, think squad battles rewards, div rival rewards, foot champions rewards, lightning rounds, any kind of pack supply that would bring supply onto the market. That's a good time typically to go and pick these cards up. But at the minute, there is a bit of a lightning round going on. Well, why not? It's 12 o'clock on a Saturday morning. Why not release some lightning rounds? So I might even be able to go and pick up myself some of these Italian cards or maybe stock up on some English cards maybe even some French cards so let's just go and take a look to see how much these French ones are chilling at at the minute as you'll be able to see chilling at 500 coins and going pretty quickly so what I need to do at that point is just sit here and snipe and I could stock up as much as I want to wait for an SBC or what I could try to do would be to try and sell them on straight away it's completely up to you oh have you met entrepreneur and there's loads popping up here there's one there's two maybe nope Three? No. We managed to get one out of that. We managed to get Kachelny at 500 coins. His next one up is currently going for about 800 coins, roughly. I can lazy list this at 800 coins, make 300 coins profit. Or I can wait until he's needed for maybe an SBC, a daily SBC, marquee matchups. Bear in mind, well, foot freeze is coming. I think it's next week. What day is it? Today, the 4th? Yeah, next week. And with that comes pretty much daily SBCs. I might even... <clears throat> Actually get to the card because no. <clears throat> no just 
Anyway, moving on. Hello. So like I was saying, come foot freeze, this would be a really good time to do this as well. And you can also go and do mass bidding on all these as well. You can see this Sacco here is just chilling at 500 coins. If I wanted to, I could just come in and I could just bid at 300 or maybe even a bit more coins. Maybe 500, considering that's what I've just told you to do. Now, say, for example, you've got a bit of a higher budget and you don't want to just be bidding loads and loads at 500 coins or buying at 500 coins. That's absolutely fine as well. So I'm going to tell you about discard investing. Now, I've talked about discard investing before, but I've never really done a proper video on it on FIFA 22 as far as I'm aware. So discard investing is this. You go to the absolute bottom price of any kind of special card. So in this example, let's just use informs. Now, what you want to do is basically pick up informs who are as cheap, as cheap, as cheap, as cheap as they can possibly be because if they don't rise in price, it really doesn't matter. So usually when you're doing any kind of investing, you want to be going for higher rating, good leagues, good nations, and if you can do, try and get both. Now, for example, this Centons, I'm not going to be investing in it, but for 10,000 coins, say if I pick that card up, I could be discarding it at 9,600 coins, something like that. And I don't really think that's the worst thing in the world, you know. It's free real estate. Eventually, some SBC will need them, or as soon as they go out of packs, they will rise naturally. It will take a long time, so just bear that in mind. But again, this is the easiest way to make coins, not the most efficient way to make coins, so just bear that in mind. Another thing as well is it only takes one TikTok trader to come in and go, this card is going to the moon. Yes, he's going all the way up, and then everything just goes up in price. But one thing I'd also recommend to do is just pick up... Any card who is 81 rated or above and special, and if they are chilling at discard price, just pick up one of each and just leave them in your club. In a couple of months time, just check on the price of them. They've gone up in price. You can like this video, save this video, come back to it. If you pick up a card in today, right now, come back to it in two months, I guarantee you that that card will have somewhat gone up in price. I guarantee you. As long as you follow that mantra of over like 81 rated, good leads, good nations, like this Centons, it's not a bad card to be honest. I mean, again, I'm not really gonna be advising it as an investment, he is 10,000 coins. I could completely go and wipe out all of this and just sit on it and hope he goes to maybe like 12,000 coins. I mean, I could do that. I don't think I'm going to though. Ideally, what I'd be doing with these kind of investments is going for the higher rated stuff. Maybe stuff that's like 83. I'm thinking people like maybe this Toloi card. You could go and pick him up. Again, if you're not really someone who wants to chuck a load of coins into him, you could just pick up a few and just leave them in your club. Like he's 10,500 coins. The worst that happens is that, say for example, I pick this up, right? I sign now and then we go over here. And then say if I just wanted to maybe sell him at his absolute minimum, it's 10,500. If I quick sell him, he's 10,126. I'm losing what? About 380. 84 coins 74 coins yeah 374 coins <laughs> May as well just do it, do you know what I mean? Knowledge. As a rule of thumb when investing in any kind of card, say for example you see an 84 rated special card who's cheaper than an 83 rated special card and all of those 83 special cards, probably the time to pick up. If they get downloads to the 83 rated price, probably worth picking up because the prices will correct themselves after a bit. It works the same with fodder as well, but in terms of the easiest way to make coins, both ways that I've told you in this video, in my opinion, are the absolute easiest way. There are no easier ways to make coins in FIFA 22 to right now admittedly they take a bit of time and a bit of patience but if you want easy this is the easiest way to do it yeah, boy. But let's, that is where I'm going to be wrapping it up for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click here or here to go and check out some of my other videos. Actually, click here. I did a video showing the best way to make coins in FIFA 22. You'll probably like that one. Subscribe if you're new as well. But let's, this is 26. Lewis, this has been the easiest way to make coins in FIFA 22. And I am off. Eesh.